say, hello, my name is Larry Richards, but she already did that. Um, um, I gotta tell you, like Delbert McClinton said, I'm one of the fortunate few. Yes. Um, I'm in the inclusionary housing program, and I have the most beautiful two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment in this town. Um, and through God, it's sure dumb luck, I managed to, um, through this little ticket, which I still have, win uh, the third of th only three units in my building. And uh, I first came to this town in um, 1996. I probably was uh, actually homeless for more than four years because it was a couple of years there before they even housed me in the Rose Hotel. And the Rose Hotel was a very substandard place for me. It was not wheelchair accessible. Uh, I fought them hard for my ADA rights and eventually, like Jane said, I, got, I lost the place because I uh, understand, I had paid my rent, I was like almost a year in advance, but because I fought them, they didn't want me there. And so I went and suffered homelessness again. And it was incredibly hard the second time. Um, uh, but I did manage to survive. And uh, thanks to, especially I want to single out uh, Teresa Imperial at Bishop Housing. Uh, Teresa fought for me every day. She, many, many, I don't know, two, maybe three years, um, she would go out and apply for me. And she finally got the ticket that let me win. And, um, you know, 71% uh, of the homeless on the streets today were like me. They used to be housed in San Francisco. And uh, I, I believe that this progressive city cannot call itself a progressive city unless it takes care of its citizenry. Look, I, I, I'm the biggest capitalist here, but you got to take from the builders a little bit more so that everybody here can succeed. Thank you, Larry. I think you summed it up just right. Uh, I was very optimistic that cooler heads would prevail. When I first was on the Board of Supervisors 15 years ago, Supervisor Mark Leno, today State Senator Leno, introduced our first inclusionary ordinance at 10%. And yes, there were those in the